All right, in this Geek Tip video, I'm going to show you how to manage the virtual memory inside of Windows 11. Now, the virtual memory is a complement to the actual physical memory, the RAM in the computer. When Windows runs out of space in the RAM, it will actually write inactive programs down to the swap file, the virtual memory file. And uh, whenever you bring that, you that program back up, it'll just keep switching back and forth, back and forth, swapping back and forth. This occurs quite a bit on systems with a, a limited or small amount of memory, 48 gigs of memory. So uh, to improve the performance of a system with low amount of memory, you know, optimizing the virtual memory can, you know, increase the performance drastically. Uh, between 8 and 16 gigs, yeah, you might be see a, a nice little kick in performance, uptick in performance. Anything over 16 gig, you can give it a try, see how it, how it goes. Uh, but the calculation is based on the amount of memory you have and the virtual swap file. The more memory you, physical memory you have in the system, the larger the virtual swap file is. So as we get into the calculations, you'll see what I mean there. But first thing first, we have to actually get to the system section of the settings program so the, the simplest way to get there is probably the longest we're going to left click on the start button we're going to left click on settings we're going to scroll down the right hand column here under system and we're going to go to about okay that's where we're going to start but there's a, other ways to get there and they're rather quick so let's go ahead and let's use the power user menu so let's right click on the start button and we can actually click on system that takes us right there we can actually use the keyboard shortcut for the power user menu which is the window key X you'll notice that there are underlined letters here which are keyboard shortcuts so we can actually hit Y and it brings us right up to the about system properties or the, really the fastest way to do it is the Windows logo key plus pause that takes us right there okay so we're here now let's uh, first thing we need to do is we need to take note of how much installed memory how much RAM is actually inside the system this system only has four gigs we've got it you know increase the page file on it because we can't increase memory so let's go ahead and increase the page file the swap file we're going to scroll down here we're going to find advanced system settings link here so we're going to go into advanced system settings we're going to make sure that the advanced tab is highlighted we're going to go under performance we're going to click on the settings button we're going to bring up the performance options we're going to click left click on the advanced tab we'll go down here to virtual memory and we're going to click on the change button all right so windows by default will automatically manage the page file for your computer but frankly you know, as you can see windows has created a swap file of only 704 megabytes and that's not going to be enough for a system like this with only four gigs of memory that's yeah, no so what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a, a, a custom size here as you can see we can actually click on custom size now what is the calculation well let's bring up the calculator and let's take a look so we're gonna I'm just gonna bring up a run dialog box have calc in there which is the calculator now the formula for calculating swap file size is 32 times 32 now we're going to times that by the amount of memory which is four gigs all right now our initial size over here is going to be this number it's going to be times 1.5 okay so that's our minimum size right there is going to be 6144 maximum size is going to be three times this now this is where if you have a, a large amount of memory and you create a you customize the swap file this is the maximum size that the swap file can get to be 
and if you have you know 16 gig 32 gig 64 gig yeah this file can be humongous but you have to remember the it's the initial size is on the system is going to be six gigs and it'll expand to 18 gigs when needed so that that's a, a good thing okay so that's uh that's the way you uh calculate and set the swap file now there are systems that actually have dual drives and you'll actually see it here i've actually got two drives set up uh one of them is a solid state drive one is hard disk drive um, a lot of gaming systems this is how they're actually set up solid state drive is for games in the operating system because they run real fast and then you're supposed to have storage you know, your data storage over here on the hard disk drive now if you have a dual boot or dual drive system like this it's always recommended to take that swap file and put it over onto the d drive or the hard disk drive and thus allowing the solid state drive to run you know the you know load programs operating system and the swap file over on the on the uh, hard disk drive uh, since windows is always reading and writing to the page file it having the page file on a solid state drive can decrease the life of the the solid state drive because you know basically it's always reading and writing it's always active so so what we want to do on, on this system i'm going to do it is i'm going to actually create that same custom size i'm just going to switch those out okay okay so i'm going to set that there now i've got on a d drive or on the c drive i'm going to say no and it's going to warn me saying you shouldn't do this okay but it's perfectly fine you, windows will run it doesn't matter so that is how you tweak the virtual file or virtual memory inside of windows 11 for complete instructions on how to get there and and how to do the calculation it's all over on uh, the blog over geeksandphoenix.com you'll actually find a link in the description of this youtube video over on youtube so uh, go ahead have any questions go on over there to uh, the geeks and phoenix blog and uh, all the calculations and everything are there so other than that that's how you manage the virtual memory in windows 11 okay take care and have a great day